Good morning everyone, it is like quarter to six in the morning, super early, we're at Heathrow Terminal 5 and I have absolutely no idea where we're flying to. The airport is so busy, there's currently a strike on and we're rushing to get to security because we're flying out somewhere today. Yep. <laughs> it's a surprise for me so I have absolutely no idea where we're going but luckily we don't have to check in and we're going straight towards security now. I haven't even seen my boarding pass yet, I have literally no idea. I think it's either Italy or Greece but um Know. We literally had no time to grab food and I've got the most disgusting veggie brioche thing at prep. It's vile. <laughs> but I don't know if you can see, I'm trying to figure out where we're going because I literally have no idea. And all I know is that our flight goes at seven. And I've been thinking Greece or Italy. There's a flight at 6.55 that goes to Athens and one at seven that goes to Rome. It's definitely Athens or Rome. Which one is it, Jess? Athens or Rome? Nice. It's not Nice. Tell me. It's not Ibiza. Oh, why would he tell me? Oh my God, guys, we're going to Rome. I'm so excited to be going to Italy. Um, it's been six years since I've lost me. We're in Rome and oh my god, it looks so shiny. <laughs> I haven't really got much makeup on, but we're on the train headed to like, well, we have to like change trains twice and then. 18 minute walk to our hotel. We are now arriving in Morella. Lovely accent, so much. Um, we have an 18 minute walk to the hotel, but obviously we're not walking because as soon as we landed, the pilot announced that it was 29 degrees at 10.30 in the morning. And I was like, yeah, no, she's going to die this week. Um, I don't even know if this is loudly or not, like loud enough, because I can't hear out of even my ears very well. Um, so yeah, so we're getting on the train. It's a double decker train as well, how cool is that? My makeup looks good considering I've passed up everyone. I've only got bronzer, concealer, mascara and brows and that is it. And skincare. And this is the lobby. What on earth is this? I don't know how sweaty I look, but I actually don't care because if you saw this hotel, I'm just completely blown away. I'm just overlooking the pool, I'll show you in a second. But um, we've just checked in. Our room isn't ready yet. And the first thing I did was just like walk over to the bar to check how much an Aperol Spritz costs. Cause you know, when in Rome, <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so good. That was so lame, but it wasn't planned, I promise. An Aperol Spritz costs 20 euro, which is 20 pounds. Um, I would love to be sat here with my Aperol talking to you guys, but that's not going to happen. I need to track down the supermarket ones that you can buy here in the bottles, because they're like pre-made. We can't get them at home, it's very annoying. Um, but yeah, this pool is just absolutely insane. There's loads of Americans staying at this hotel as well. I guess it probably feels like home for them because it feels like we're in Vegas. Like it's a massive, like it's a five star resort. It's five star, isn't it? Yeah. It's part of like the Wardorf um, hotels. It's absolutely insane. Like when we were driving, I said to Jazz, I was like, this doesn't really feel like we're in Rome. And he was like, doesn't it? We are like 30 minutes away from like the center of Rome, but this hotel, we're only here for two nights. Um, he just told me we're going to a different hotel after that um, because this is like 
super pricey. Um, but we're just here just to make use of the pool and chill and they have a free shuttle bus that goes like every half an hour from like 8 a.m. no 8.30 a.m. to 9 p.m. with like a three hour gap um, like now um, around lunchtime for like their siesta or like lunch or whatever they do so we can't really get anywhere right now unless we pay for a taxi ourselves so we're just gonna go check out the restaurant in the hotel have some lunch hopefully our room's ready and then just jump in the pool just look at this hotel is massive Whoa. This is insane! Wow! Look at this! Wow! It's amazing! Oh, the aircon is so nice! Let's go have a look at the bathroom. No, before we do that, look, open the bathroom. Look at the bathroom. This is massive! Whoa! They have Ferragamo toys! trees oh my god this is so grand there's a mirror out here <laughs> hey that's the pool this is incredible wow and there's a mirror there and a mirror behind me. Let's open the fridge for us. I've just screamed. Look at this. Oh my God, oh my God. Guys, why can't we buy these in the UK? I mean, I'm not gonna pay for it in the mini bar, but oh, I'm so excited to buy like 18,000 of these and restock this fridge just for us while we're here. This is so exciting. Ah! Lunch was very nice, but Oh, was it extortionate? Like, we got, we ended up getting an iced tea each. We were so, like, torn. Like, should we get an Aperol? Should we get a cocktail? They were all 20 quid. But then all soft drinks were a tenner. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's extortionate. But obviously, that's just what you have to deal with when you stay in a place like this. I got the vegan poke bowl, which, funnily enough, was, like, one of the most expensive things on the menu like beef burgers and like sea bass was cheaper than mm. my vegan poke bowl which had a bit of tofu in it and um, it was very nice though but i was so annoyed that i couldn't finish it like we pay 32 pounds for a main you want to finish like every last scrap and lick the bowl clean but i couldn't finish it it's just the heat it's just too hot but we finally got to check in our room is amazing it's so nice i think i've just shown you guys the view i've just taken some blog photos as well but all i want to do now is just take my clothes off and walk around naked and no, i'm checking <laughs> put my swimwear on and head down to the pool the only thing is because we traveled with hand luggage only we didn't bring any like spf like body spf and i know that two seconds of that I mean, i've already tanned i'm not even joking oh but it is just so nice in this room. I can't believe we have Ferragamo toiletries. Mm. Don't know how good they are. Don't know how good their beauty is. But Ferragamo is the man that invented the oh, jazz. Yes. The heel. Um. That have you got your DSLR? Yeah, where? That makes such a good Instagram shot. Where? Uh, you can't really see it very well on this camera. I try to take oh, yeah. photos, but let me show you through the glass. I can't That's be asked to open the window. But you can see like the whole of Rome. Just that it's really, really clear when you like stand outside. This is obviously glass, but with a proper DSLR, that might be an amazing shot. Also, I've just realised I'm not you. <laughs> um, this is a dressing table area. 
I was saying I'm going to do like a little flat lay here. That's so cool. We have a bidet. Um, comment down below and let me know if you guys know what a bidet is for, like used for. Because when I was a kid, I asked somebody and they told me it's to wash your feet in. And somebody else told me it's for men to pee in like a year and all i now do know what it's for it's just so weird but let me know if you know in the comments down below um and yeah we have a shower in a bath situation going on b day, day. oh b -day. he thinks it's b day b day it's all like that bidet that's, really, a bit american. Like bidet, mate. that's a bit like americans trying to say english words like caribbean caribbean we have a free shuttle bus that runs up until like 8 30 p.m so we are gonna get on that this evening go into like the town centre or whatever like the city's going to the city centre area get some dinner but then go to a supermarket because I don't really want to eat here again um, and just get loads of snacks for lunch tomorrow and loads of drinks I'm actually going to ring reception now and ask them to empty out our mini bar so that we can just use it for our own stuff because I think it's like one of those timed ones you know some hotels have a mini bar where if you just lift something up they think you've taken it because it's like timed somehow like sensitive so they know that you've drank it which we obviously haven't watch how i get charged for that apple roll that i just lifted up and put back so i'm gonna ask them to come and empty it so that i can use it but oh it's just so nice i'm not leaving this hotel and just look at how tired i look I spent like two three hours just in the pool it's, it was really nice but the pool here is really deep so even the shallowest end like jas can't touch the ground like when he's in the pool so i have no hope it was a little bit annoying actually it's a bit weird i've never been to a pool like that but then we got chatting to like this lady who basically just spoke to us the entire time we were in there and she was saying there's two more kids pools like further along but she said they're more for kids but uh, we are going to go and check them out maybe tomorrow but right now we are just ready we're going to get the complimentary shuttle bus into the town centre it goes every hour I thought it was every half an hour but it goes every half past you got 15 minutes oh good okay I'm gonna pick a lipstick and then we'll go downstairs and get the bus